Hi, 大家好，我是凯西。As some of you already know, I am pregnant. I'm now into my second trimester, and since announcing that I am pregnant, I've started getting a lot of advice from people about things that I should do and that I shouldn't do. A lot of these things are the same whether you're from Canada or you're from Taiwan, since they're based in science. For example, most people say that it's safer to avoid undercooked or raw meat or raw fish like sashimi, and also undercooked eggs, which I'm really sad about because I love eating poached eggs. <laughs> But I've also started hearing about some restrictions that are more based in superstition or tradition.、It、seems like Taiwan has. Quite a few of these, and I thought they were really interesting. So I decided to do some research and made a list of some old wives' tales about pregnancy from both Taiwan and North America.、And、before I go into my list, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I'm not a very superstitious person, so I might be sharing some of my own opinions with you as well. But if your opinions are different, that's totally cool too. I respect whatever you believe. So yeah. Number one is you shouldn't move while you're pregnant. The general explanation for this one seems to be that if you move, you might end up disrupting the baby or the fetus's chi. In English, we might say that's like the energy or the soul of the baby. And if you disrupt that, it might cause health problems for the baby. I also heard it's especially important. Not to move your bed because your baby's soul arrives first, and it often chooses to be somewhere around the bed. So if you move the bed, it might scare away the fetus's soul. So in my opinion, sometimes it's just necessary to move, and it's actually better for the baby in the long run. But I can kind of understand why this belief might exist because. Moving is really tiring. We hired a moving company when we moved, so I avoided lifting anything too heavy. But it was still pretty tiring, packing up all your stuff and cleaning both apartments and all that. So in the end, it's still not ideal to move while you're pregnant. So I can understand this one. Number two is you shouldn't use scissors, needles, or nails while you're pregnant. The idea behind this one is also to do with the baby's. Energy or its soul. There's a fear that if you use these things, you might accidentally cut into it, and if you do that, it could cause the baby to be born with some problems. I wonder if it also comes from a place of wanting to protect pregnant women from doing things that are too tiring, or from handling dangerous or sharp objects that might hurt them. The next one is also one that I personally was warned about. And it is that you can't go to funerals or weddings if you're pregnant. When it comes to funerals, it's basically just because there is bad chi or bad energy there. It's just not a happy occasion. And for weddings, it also has to do with chi. But this time, it's the other way around. The bride's chi is thought to be the most important on that day. So it's best that you not interfere with it with your good news. Basically, you shouldn't steal her thunder, I guess. All right, the last ones from Taiwan that I have are all to do with food. The first one that I heard about was that consuming soy sauce will make your baby's skin darker, and consuming pearl powder will make your baby's skin fairer. So I looked into this, and it seems that scientifically, there is no evidence that soy sauce will make. Your baby's skin darker, but I guess it might be a good idea to avoid using too much soy sauce in your cooking while you're pregnant, since it does have a high sodium content, and too much sodium can cause fluid retention and also high blood pressure while you're pregnant, which is not good. And I also saw a doctor talking about pearl powder, and they said that it won't make skin lighter, but it is high in calcium. Which is good for pregnant women. Another belief about food is that you should avoid cold foods or cold drinks. I think this is probably the biggest or the most common belief here. I actually already got some comments and messages from people giving me advice about this. In the West, we don't really have this belief, or at least in Canada, we don't. 
And actually, you guys might be surprised to know that in North America, when you give birth in the hospital, they'll actually give you ice chips to chew on while you're waiting to give birth. So yeah, obviously it's not something that we stay away from. So I'll probably continue drinking cold water and eating ice cream, but to each his own, so you can decide whatever is best for you. The last food-related belief that I found is that you shouldn't eat duck or mango. Traditionally, these are seen as more inflammatory foods and they might make it more likely for your baby to develop allergies. And I thought this one was especially interesting because I actually have an app that helps me track my pregnancy and it suggests foods that are good for you during pregnancy. And one of the foods that it suggested was actually mango. And the reason behind that was that mango is high in folate which is a really important nutrient when you're pregnant. 